So in this video, I'm going to continue on for my first video on the flash fill feature in Excel 2013. Flash fill is great for cleaning messy data from a data warehouse, quickly converting text to columns, such as delimited data like CSV files, and parsing uniform data without having to use the complicated mid, left, or right functions. And flash fill can extract, concatenate, or join, insert, remove, and parse data and it can be used with text, dates, numbers, currency, percentages, and fractions. So just about every single Excel format. All right, so let's go over some examples now. So I have 11 rows of data, and this is just user information from a collector cars database. So before I start, there's three ways of initiating flash fill. The first way is to let Excel try to recognize the pattern you're enter entering in after you enter in the first few rows of data. So let me show you how that's done. 306 dash, and I just want to add the uh, dashes here for the social security number. So 306 dash 65 dash 4934, 306, and you can see here that Excel tried to recognize the pattern, but it's incorrect because not only are the digits not right here, 215, there's no 215 here, but also it is putting three digits in here instead of two. So I'm going to continue on. 306-60-4581-375, and that's still incorrect. Now it's got two digits, but they are incorrect. 375-45-9809-506. And that is correct there. So by pushing enter, that solidified the changes. And yes, I had to enter four rows of data, but if all that information in column B was uniform, it wouldn't have mattered how many rows I had had 800, 8,000. It would have entered the same pattern, so that would have been a huge time saver. Okay, so the next way to initiate flash fill is to use Control E. And in this example, I want the name to be last name, comma, first name, comma, middle initial, period. So last name Clark, first name, right, period, and Control shift enter and then control E. And that went ahead and filled everything in and it looks correct. All right, so in the next example, I want to extract the year from the date of birth, 1945. And so the last method of initiating flash fill is to click data and then in the ribbon, click flash fill. And so that extracted all of the the years. All right, so in the next example, I want to remove the area code from the phone number because it's incorrect, and then add in the correct area code of 415, 415-786-8645. I'm going to do control E, and that's incorrect. Let me try that again, 415-414-8653. Control E, and there we go. So basically the strategy that I do is I enter the first row of data, and then I go ahead and try the flash fill by doing Control E. And if that doesn't work, then I'll enter the second row, Control E. And if that doesn't work, I'll go ahead and enter a couple more rows and then do Control E. And eventually it will pick up the pattern. And so for the email, I just want to use the first name at collectcars.com. First name at collectcars.com. I'll go and do control E, and you can see that didn't work. It didn't put the com there or there. So I'll do control Z. Let me enter another row of data. Collectcars.com. Control Shift Enter and then Control E. Still didn't work. Jermaine at collectcars.com. Control E. 
instance at collect all right there we go added in the dot com to all of them there so the next example is a little bit more complicated so basically I want to pull off just the dot au from the end of the emails in row n and let me go ahead and try that at collectcars.com control e and you can see that when I run flat the flash fill that for the emails that don't have the dot au on the end it's pulling off the dot com and no, no matter how many times I run that, it's always going to pull off the .com. So in order to do this correctly, I need to isolate the .au domains. And there's a number of ways to do this. So I'm going to do Control Z, Control Z. So I like to copy and paste the data over to a new sheet. I'm going to go ahead and filter the data. Do a text filter contains dot au. Okay. And so that just leaves the email addresses with the dot au. So now I'm going to go ahead and use flash fill domain at collectcars.com. Control E. Control E, and there we go, that removed the dot AU. So now I'm going to remove the filter. And you can see that I still need to pull over the dot com emails. And with this amount of data, it'd be very easy to do, but let's say I have 800 rows. So to do that, I'm just going to show just the blanks, and then I'll just copy and paste this data over. And then I'll show all the data. And now everything is just .com. And then I'll copy and paste the data back over. And there we go. So in the next example, I want to pull the make and the model over. So AC Cobra 427. Let's see if that worked. And that worked. And in the next example, I want to extract the year from the date. And it's actually much easier to do that. If I change this to long date, 2012, control E. And that worked right away, 2011, 2012. So next, I want to add the month to the day and I'm just going to use January so I can just do one dash and then the day one dash 21 control E and there we go so in the next example I want to extract the first two digits from the first name G A L and you can see that the flash fill that up so I just push enter now I want to extract three G A I A L V H O and it picked it up but actually it's incorrect you can see there's an L there there's an A there H O D and then let me try that again AOS, PRI, CAM, and that worked. In this next example, I want to extract the last two digits of the name. So ES, EZ. You can see that, that Excel picked up the pattern there. D E O N U N. And that worked. I'm going to push enter. 
So those last few examples actually save a lot of time because you would have to have had to use the, the mid left or right functions in that situation. So finally, in the last example, I want to extract the minute from the time. And to do that, I can just do 3920, control E, 1, 3, 57. And I picked everything up. But you probably noticed that it did change the, the formatting. So this before was the time format, and now this is in the general format. Okay, so that sums up the many uses of Flash Fill. Thank you.